Definitely looking forward to this season. Uh, a lot of guys have been up at school all summer working out together, uh, getting better. We got a lot of guys back, and uh, we're really looking forward to next season. Last year, uh, you got a concussion, you got mono, didn't have the full season. Uh, how are you feeling now? And uh, just talk about how frustrating that was. Yeah, it was definitely frustrating. Uh, still don't have a full season under my belt, but uh, finally healthy now. And uh, like I said, really looking forward to this season. We, we, sh we should be good this year. What have you learned over the last two years about yourself as a player and as a person going through that, you know, had, having to persevere through those two tough seasons? Yeah, face some adversity, but you just got to keep your head up, bounce back, have trust in the guys behind you, and know that you are going to get back to that point one day. So just keep working hard and do everything in your power so, to prevent that from happening again. You and I have talked about it, obviously, the, with the offense of Bacolke, perfect for your style. Just talk about how comfortable you are with the offense now. Definitely my third year now, like relearning the offense in a sense. So I'm very comfortable with the offense now, very comfortable with all my calls, all the coverages I'm going to be seeing. And uh, with some experience in the backfield, uh, we, sh we should be very, we should have a lot of knowledge back there every snap. And uh, obviously we talked about this too as well, the jump between high school and college. Just talk about that. I mean, you obviously have the physical skill. I'm sure right now the thing is getting everything down mentally, like you said. Absolutely. You, it's a lot to take in. Uh, every opponent, you, you're looking at different things on film, like different coverages they play, the fronts you'll see. So it's just it's being very meticulous and looking at every little aspect to give your team the, the edge to get the win. And just talk about the schedule. You guys always play a tough schedule. You'll play a non-league game against a top program. Uh, who are you guys going to be playing this year? We open up with uh, Navy in Annapolis, which is going to be awesome. And then right after that, we're playing New Hampshire at home. So it's a, it's a very tough start to the schedule, but it'll be good for us as a team. Get, uh, and looking forward to it. Yeah, how big is that for the program to go out and play a Navy, who last year gave Ohio State all they wanted? Uh, and then you play New Hampshire, you might see your old buddy uh, Mike Perezzi up there. So uh, just talk about it. How big is it for you guys to see that type of competition before you head into league play? Uh, it's huge. I mean, not only does it help us as a program, like seeing that type of speed and size, but also just getting out there, playing some bigger teams, getting the Patriot League some rep. Uh, it's, it's good. It's all good. And just all about, you know, over the last, obviously, Sparta won back-to-back -back state titles. You were, your senior year, you guys lost in a heartbreaker. Just talk about the players that have been coming out of this school over the last five years. You're looking at Chad Mavetti's down in Florida State, and you got players all over the place. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. I mean, you don't see that in a lot of Sussex County teams. I mean, Lucas is out at Columbia now. Chad, like you said, Florida State, that's incredible. But uh, it's real cool. I mean, Marsh has done a great job around here, keeping us all in shape, working us out in the summer, and... Uh, it's really paying off. What makes Sparta, anyway, obviously we're at a basketball camp now, but for years Sparta was always known as a football town. What makes it that? Just ever since you're growing up, I mean, even the, when you're in fifth, sixth, seventh grade, there's like four Sparta teams. I mean, there's t everyone's playing football. Everyone loves football around here. And uh, I don't know, just ever since you're little, you're always playing. And uh, how excited, you mentioned it before, to get out there and play a full healthy season and help Colgate, you know, achieve some great things. Very, very excited. Um, it's like, like I said before, I had the mono and the concussion, but this year I'm finally healthy and I'm really looking forward to the season.